Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out of this world story from our space. My wife confessed she cheated on me with a coworker. Some backstory. My wife and I were high school sweethearts, began dating when we were 15, 16 years old, and have never been with anybody else up until her recent affair. We're currently 35 and 36 now. We were married in 2011, had a first child in 2016, and second in 2019. In April of 2021, she had told me there was a guy at work who was hitting on her and constantly complimenting her on her appearance. I trusted her 100%. She told me she denied his advances and I had no reason at the time to not believe her. Between April and May, she began making several dramatic changes. She kept her phone close constantly and on silent. She started losing weight, spent more time on her appearance, bought more revealing clothes, started talking more sexually. Sex drive increased incredibly. We went from having sex three or four times a month to almost every day sometimes more. She said that this is the new her. She knows what she wants, and life is too short not to enjoy it. I began to have suspicions in July of 2021, when while on an outing with friends, I caught her texting a name I had never seen before. When I questioned her, she deleted the entire conversation out of her phone immediately. She told me it was a guy co-worker. They were just friends, and would occasionally text each other, mostly about work. I had a breakdown. Didn't go right to me. Why delete it if everything is so innocent? She told me she didn't want me to get mad because it was the same guy that was hitting on her previously, and she was afraid I would get hurt. But they were just friends. We had several arguments and I made accusations of her being unfaithful that week, which she denied. She promised she would not have any more communication with him. About a week after the first incident, I randomly asked to see her phone messages. She quickly became panicked and defensive. She tried to walk away from me, and I suspected she was deleting messages, but didn't see for sure. She then offered that I could look through her phone but she later confessed that she had already deleted the messages. I would accuse her of being unfaithful a lot over the next few weeks, all of which she denied. She said I was crazy and that she couldn't take me not trusting her. She threatened to leave a few times because of how I made her feel. Through all the arguments, we still managed to maintain her intimacy. In early of August 2021, while out together for dinner or drinks, I again caught her deleting text messages. She admitted she was still talking with him. I was furious called her very foul, disgusting names you could imagine. Threatened to leave her and file for divorce, and I smashed her phone. She finally confessed that they had been having an emotional and physical affair. They had had sex, once in her car, twice at a hotel. She would meet him occasionally and perform oral sex on him in her car. One time happened at work. This had been going on since April and took about a month to become physical. She admitted they would text and flirt every day, sometimes sexed, sometimes send pics, and had a FaceTime call while he masturbated. She really didn't spare any detail. I believe she answered honestly to all the questions I had, even though the details crushed me tremendously. I felt so betrayed and heartbroken. I could she do this to us and destroy the life we built together over the last 20 years? I told her to text him back and let him know that she had confessed to me. She agreed and did. He quickly responded that she better not have, and he would never trust her again. I had her phone and responded as myself letting him know I was now fully aware of what occurred and thanked him for destroying our marriage. He responded with a typical, I'm so sorry, we never meant for this to happen, we had voids in our marriages we tried to fill. He also let me know that he was leaving his job and would not be working with her anymore. I messaged him back that I hope he planned to be honest with his wife. He said he was going to, and later said that his wife was leaving him. I still have my doubts that he confessed to her at all, which really angers me. Feels like he's getting away with it while my wife and I are left with the burden to rebuild everything or call it quits. I felt dead inside. My heart was shattered. How could I ever trust her again? How did I miss or ignore the signs that was just going on? How was she able to connect with another man so fast and get to that point? How did she not realize what she was doing to us? The next two to three days were excruciating, filled with pain, hurt, anger, confusion, difficult discussions, and lots of tears from her and I. We decided to start marriage counseling to help work through all the emotions. I was fully committed to repairing our marriage. I didn't want to fail my wife or children. I couldn't be without them. I had to swallow my pride and shame to make this better for all of us. Through talking with her, I've learned a lot that I was regretfully obvious to. I realized how unappreciated and sad she felt for several years prior to the affair. I didn't support her when she needed me. I got too comfortable, caught up with work, kids, and never imagined this would happen to us. She said she knew I loved her. I didn't feel I cared about her anymore, that we were just doing life together because we had to. Hindsight, I do now see what she said. I didn't make her a priority. She probably wasn't even in my top three priorities. I regret this every day. 
She deserved to be appreciated every day. I lost sight of this. As we discussed the details of the affair, I began to realize she was being manipulated by a person that was unhappy in their own marriage and a serial cheer. This guy told her all the things she wanted to hear. He built her up so he could get what he wanted. I determined this before she even realized it herself. It's been just over three weeks now since she confessed. I still have breakdowns. I had one last night which inspired me to write this. The pain comes and goes. Tends to sneak up on me at the worst times. My wife has been doing as best she can to be supportive. She accepts the blame and has been there for me through it. Any advice for somebody who has already been in my shoes? I don't get past this. I can repair a marriage when this is what I think about daily. TIA. Ask for advice and you shall receive. 45ZZ67 says, Get distance from her and start working on yourself. Start with a gym membership. Dress nicer. Let yourself feel confident again so you can find your own value again. This whole post is nothing but you showing empathy for the person that betrayed you. You have been and continue to be willfully blind to the reality in front of you. Guy hits on her at work and she tells you, Okay, fine. Set an interest in her appearance? You do nothing. Fine. Starts hiding the phone. Giant red flag. Deleting messages in front of you? That's divorce level on its own given the context. Multiple times? I'm on. The fact is you can spend all the time you want trying to save your marriage and it will all be wasted. Save yourself instead. She's wrong for her actions and her lack of responsibility, but you are much worse for accepting it. It's more important to be respected than loved. Next up from Jesiden Purple Lion. Anyone find it weird how cheaters only bring up relationship problems after cheating? If they put as much effort into talking to the partner as they did cheating and hiding the affair, the relationship would be golden. Another thought from OK Arachnid 3549 You're exactly right. I've heard something like that from infidelity experts. They nitpick issues in the relationship that may not have been that serious or even there at all. They do this as a way of justifying their affairs so that they might feel less guilty about what they are doing. Last thought before we move on from P. Examiner. This is also the traumatizing part, I believe, because now the victim, probably already trained to jump through hoops and always accept blame by the abuser, is easily again fooled and worried that they were non-performant and deserve yet further disciplining and punishment. It's just a continuation of the clowning of the victim that has been going on for so many years usually. Okay, next story. I am the hard worker in the relationship, the breadwinner, and I have just found out my wife cheated. I am 31 and so is my wife. We have been married for 10 years and we have two children together, 5 and 11. I recently found out that she cheated on me with a 21-year-old. He was the one that confessed to me. I work for a tree company and need to be out of town for 4 or 5 days a week. On top of that, at the start of this year, my dad passed down the rights of a small restaurant to me and my wife. One day, I hired this young guy to work for me at the restaurant. I didn't notice or see anything suspicious at first, but I slowly started to catch on that he might be talking to my wife by my back. One day, I grabbed my wife's cell phone and she instantly grabbed it back. I told her to let me see it if she wasn't hiding anything. She took a couple of seconds on her phone, then gave it to me. But I saw she had deleted her Snapchat app. I asked why and she claimed I made fun of her whenever she took pictures. I never did though. This was the first red flag. Then on the 4th of July, we closed up the restaurant and invited every employee to the lake. At the lake, I saw my wife go up to the restroom, and a couple of minutes later, the young man I had hired followed. I went up to see and saw that they were talking. I asked her why he came up here to talk to her, and she said that he simply asked her a couple of questions about his hours. This was a second red flag. Mind you, my two daughters had just been taken to Mexico for the summer and to get some load off of her shoulders. So fast forward two months and a couple more red flags along the way. The 21-year-old comes up and confesses that he has been having an affair with my wife for months now. He was drunk when telling me. He proceeded to give me details on how they had gotten a hotel room a couple of times, and they would even kiss in the restaurant behind everyone's back. He even showed me some proof. I then proceeded to confront my wife, and she stayed quiet. She then started lying, saying she did start talking to him, but the only reason she went to the hotels was because he threatened to tell me if she didn't. I tried to believe that, but I gave the young man a call and he told me she went willingly and even provided proof. Now I feel betrayed. My own wife of 10 years, doing this right under my nose, and I knew it, I just couldn't prove it. Every day I would see him clock in just to find out he was doing these things to my wife. Our two daughters, our house, our relationship, the hard work I've put in to support my family. I am devastated, hurt, and I think I wanted to force her and take the kids. What should I do? 
We know the community is always good for advice when you ask. Richie J 96 says, Look, you already know your options. Everybody here is just giving you their opinion. I haven't been in a relationship as long as you have, so I definitely won't see it through the same lens you do. All I know is that, take the same context and applying it to my situation, I would be done. There's no way I would be able to look at her and feel the same again after that, and it would be beyond anything a counselor could say or do. Your co-worker told you, not your wife. If it was up to her, she would keep up the charade. Hell, she even tried to in the face of evidence. Do you want to spend the rest of your life with that? DOP responds, That's the thing that hurts me the most. If he never told me, I would never have found out. That's probably why I didn't get physical with him. But still, I do not want to see him ever again. One last record from Richie J96. Your wife knew she had kids. She had you, a house, a marriage, and still did it anyway. Worse, wanted to continue it. What does that tell you? I really do sympathize. It sucks. But if this guy wanted to go another two years, your wife probably would have been up for it. And that says everything you need to know about the real her.